Yeah, one of my successful years in Formula Drift has to be 2015 by far. Um, that's the year that Sound Racing, both Frederick and I, finished first and second in points. It was just, yeah, the highest of highs um, in my career. I and mean, of course, I've had different podiums in different years, but at that year specifically, I think everything just lined up really well. But in drifting, uh, every year the cars get faster, the drivers get better, the tandems get tighter. And so not, not only are we trying to look for that winning package again, but we're also trying to progress as a team, um, as the sport does. What's up everyone, I'm Ken Gushi. We are here with Formula Drift round three in Atlanta. Uh, this is my pit space, obviously my car behind me, which is the Toyota Racing Great Performance 8.6. Let me show you guys around my pit area. It's a little messy right now, but we try to keep it efficient, simple. Uh, some of my team members right here, this is Ben, he's my spotter and also a mechanic. And we got Billy, he's also my mechanic and overall helper, a tire runner. Camden, my buddy, uh, he's kind of like the moral support of the team. Uh, and then this is my very good buddy, the fuel jug with Ignite um, Red. Ethanol fuel. Practice today went really well. Um, setting up tire pressures again is the first thing that we want to do once we get on the new track or the new round. Um, so we did that on the first run now, got it dialed in. Uh, had about six laps today and all six were solid laps. So going into qualify, uh, I think uh, we're going to be looking really good uh, the first run now and the two runs that we get tomorrow for qualify. So looking forward to that. But you're a career, career driver. Yeah, I've made you it did, my career, man. which is, I've been for, very fortunate. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, I mean, you're just the, one of the, you're the original. You're one of the original Yeah, drivers. me, Dai, and Forsberg are the only three that hasn't missed a round. Are you gonna film me change? I don't care. <laughs> my dressing room. That's how quick I change. Just in and out. That's her doggy. Huh? That's her doggy. Is it? Yeah. Hey, oh, sh Hold on. Yeah, well, uh, we're just kind of waiting for the driver's meeting to start. Yeah, don't break yours either. Uh, <laughs> don't, break, don't break mine. <laughs> we're trying to give you guys the, the the freedom to do what you want, as long as it's quick and smooth and it looks good. Yeah, so anything you'd like. I think there was a hand in this area. Uh, so yeah, we just got done with our driver's meeting before qualifying. And uh, Atlanta's actually the only round where they do an autograph session before qualifying. So that's where we're headed right now is the autograph session. Uh, starts starts about five minutes ago, so I'm a little late. Hi, hi ladies, hello. Look how long the line is already though. It's already up the hill. It is, it's tiny. Yeah. It's a nice hat you got there, buddy. Yeah, of course. Gucci Gang, what up? Hey, Gucci Gang. Gucci Gang, yeah! Yeah. See, this is why I like Atlanta. There's like already a lot of people before we even start running. This is where all the hardcore fans are. Right, right. That's what I tell everyone. Yeah, you only have one chance here.
Well, uh, we went out for our first run of practice, and uh, the burnout box was all right, but as soon as we took off uh, through the chicane, I uh, had a mad fuel cut, and I had to shut it down right away, and I knew right away it was going to be an electrical issue, so I radioed it into my team, um, and we, we, were, we were on it right away, and we traced it to a melted fuel pump wire on the driver's side, so um, that was causing us to have a uh, have no con connection to our PDM and uh, or to our ECU. Uh, fixed the wires right now quickly, or actually bandaged it, and uh, managed to get a connection to the ECU. So I think it'll be all right uh, to run uh, for qualifying. Uh, considering we didn't have any practice today, just one test lap, I think we did fairly decent with a score of 92, which places us in 10th place at the moment, uh, which is actually crazy to think. Uh, 92 would have been in the top three easily a few years, a few years back, so uh, I know where I left some points on the table, so if I can fix those points, I'm pretty sure we'll be uh, in a decent spot. We just got our qualifying results. We finished in ninth place with a score of 94. Uh, but JR Vongen Jr. happened to not do so well in qualifying and I ended up in 24th. So I'm going against JR in the top 32, which is crazy because he's a one hell of a chase driver. <laughs> and, uh, oh man, I thought qualifying in the top 10 would be rewarding, but I guess that's what it is. We'll just, be ha we'll just have to be on our A game and uh, just chase the living hell out of that Mustang. Uh, well, we just got taken out in the top 32 against JR, and uh, I thought he spun up the line when he was leading, so I, I was pretty certain that it was going to go our way, but the judges said that he spun after the line, so there's no way we're going to be able to protest that. That's it for us. Um, we're out early in the top 32. It's a season low for us, but it is what it is. So we'll just have to regroup, uh, make sure the car's good for Jersey, and enjoy the rest of the show. Weather held up for us. I mean, fortunately, it's coming down for the rest of the competition. But, Ben, yo, we're trying to wrap it up, homeboy.